So, Eric, thank you very much for finding time in, I know, a very busy schedule here at the Paris. My pleasure. Show. Yeah. It has been quite, well, I'm sure you're exa I'm exhausted and I've just been standing around looking at other people, but I know you'll be under a lot of pressure. But what really, what's really caught my eye here today, certainly on the Renault stand, but in fact across the whole show, is the interest in all the electric vehicles. The companies have got electric vehicles. You, you look at their stand, there's 10 different cars, and then over in the corner there's an electric one, and that's where all the attention is on that. It is really noticeable, that, that, that change in attitude, I think. Yeah, but for us, you know, it's not something that new. Huh? No, we have no. a, a full lineup for the last six, seven years, and I yeah. think this, uh, this learning curve that uh, we have gone through uh, is a huge asset uh, for us yeah. uh, because it's not just introducing a new technology. It's really changing the way we do the business, we do the manufacturing, we do the engineering. And so all those changes, uh, we have learned a lot, uh, and uh, we can really uh, keep this advance, this leadership we have uh, today in, in, in Europe. And I think what uh, Mr. Agon, our CEO, showed last night about this new concept of uh, KZ uh, bringing uh, affordable car and EV knowledge together yeah. to bring a kind of disruption uh, in the uh, EV market is yeah. uh, also a good sign. I mean, I just wanted to quickly recap just for, the, for our viewers, like how, what's the sa what are the sales numbers now for Zoe globally? Yeah, the Zoe so is uh, number one of uh, Europe, is uh, sold, uh, uh, of course, mainly in Europe, but still uh, uh, sold in uh, more than 40 countries uh, worldwide. And uh, uh, today we will uh, reach uh, probably something uh, around 50,000 units uh, this year. Uh, so it's oh, right. uh, in one year. In one right. year. Okay. Just uh, maybe we often uh, talking about the half uh, empty glass of EV market, which is 1% of total uh, sales in Europe. But if you look for Renault in Europe, Zoe represents 12% of our sales on the B segment car where you have this offer. So if right. you compare Zoe to Clio, yeah. it's 12%, right. which is not uh, anymore a niche market. No. Huh? It's, no, a it's a significant market. Yeah. The key thing is, if you want a Zoe at the moment, you, is there a waiting list? If you, no, if you want to buy a Zoe, can you buy one pretty quickly? That, that's our, really our asset compared to a lot of competition. It was not the case at the beginning of the year, to be honest, right. where we had quite long leak time because we, the success of the new batteries, 300 kilometers, 200 yeah. miles, was uh, really uh, uh, going beyond our expectation. And so it was a little bit tough beginning of this year. But now the cars are available. We have a lot of novelty, especially a new e-motor. 110 right. horsepower, which gives you even more pleasure when you're driving on, on the highway. We have also a new rear bench. It was uh, often the criticism I could hear. Right. You have uh, not a one-third, two-third folding uh, bench in the rear. This is now on the car also. Right. Uh, so we are just listening to the experience of our customer and continuously improving the car. And uh, now it's really available in all the uh, UK showroom. Right. Uh, and, and also, the very good thing is we have this system of battery rental. Yes. Uh, of course, it doesn't um, match all the need of all customers, but it's a great way to reduce also the, the cost. The initial cost. The initial yeah. cost. Huh? Yeah. And I mean, that because that is certainly a key thing. There's, there's quite a lot of other companies now that have launched electric cars, but you've got a really long wait. You know, like we're talking a, possibly a year till you can get one. So it's really great that you, that, you know, people... No, no, we, we can deliver the next week's, uh, yeah. no problem. Yeah. So presumably with those increased sales, because I remember when I went around the factory a while ago, you know, you would see the, the production line and there'd be a Zoe, then there'd be a Clio, you know. But has that ramped up? I mean, are you now running, you're producing more of them? Definitely. And the, 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 the ratio of uh, uh, Zoe on the line was uh, a couple of years ago was one out of ten. And now uh, we are between uh, one of, out of four and one out of three. So right. uh, it's uh, yep. really increasing and we can see this shift on, on the market. Battery supply was an issue uh, at the beginning of the year, but now it's uh, fully solved. Right. And we have uh, a lot of availability of, uh, of the battery. So I think... Uh, uh, we have a affordable project, very attractive in terms of design, and uh, so th the availability. So that's uh, a great, uh, great uh, end of the year we will have with yeah. uh, Renault in, in in the UK and in Europe. And then in the, uh, the what we saw last night, the unveiling of the new model is that because that was really interesting. Is that initially going to be produced in China? It's for the Chinese market, but then will it be brought here as well? Will it be brought to Europe? 
But yeah, the priority, you know, China is the first electric vehicle market. So that's the priority. And we wanted to enter in this market with a breakthrough because we are, uh, I would say, uh, coming after a lot of competitors. So we need to uh, come with a very differentiating uh, object. And so we combined our affordable uh, car knowledge with Dacia brand that you, you know yeah. uh, in Europe and uh, our electric leadership and make a car together. Uh, and this is KZ, and uh, this concept will start in China uh, next year, but it's meant to be global. Right. So this means we have not decided yet whether and when it will come on each region, whether it's India, Brazil, Europe. But the car is ready, and we're just matching, finding the right moment uh, to introduce it in the, in the market. But it's really the DNA of Renault, huh? affordable, zero emission. Yeah, yeah. And then what about the, the sort of next, say, five years in terms of battery technology? I mean, have you, are you seeing any hints of changes in battery chemistry or different designs for batteries? Because there's certainly a huge interest. I know enormous amount of research going into that area. Yeah, I think uh, the, the battery technology is uh, moving fast thanks to the volume and the investment uh, all the OEM uh, are putting there. Uh, we have a kind of... Uh, continuous improvement phase from between now and 2024, 2025, where basically we will improve the performance, especially in terms of density, to put more energy in the same box, uh, also uh, reduce the cost. But the, then there will be obviously a big breakthrough moment, uh, probably around 24, 25, with what we call solid state uh, technology, right. which is a, a change of gener generation. Uh, but Honestly speaking, we are still uh, on the learning curve right. for that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I would say year after year, the uh, horizon is getting clearer and clearer. Yeah. And so you're fairly confident then that a, that a solid state battery technology will eventually emerge as a plausible alternative? Today, honestly, is a uh, reference scenario for us with a lot of uncertainty, of course. What I can tell you is if we had this conversation about solid state one year ago, I would have been less confident right. and okay. uh, probably uh, less optimistic on the date. Yeah. So most probably next year when we sit yes. together, uh, <laughs> I will have better news. Yeah. But uh, you know, yeah. on, on this uh, technological breakthrough, ob obviously sometimes we are a little bit shy and uh, yeah, of course, no, I understand. But, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. but we are working actively. Yeah. So it's just one of those topics that you know I think I heard five years ago and didn't know what it meant. Gradually found out what it meant. And then you hear more, when you start to hear more and more people referring to, yeah. to that stuff. But what is interesting with this technology and is that it's not only impacting the battery itself, the car, because obviously this technology is less sensitive to, to temperature. Right. So this means all the room and the money we take in the car for cooling system, heating system of the battery, we probably can you save can get that. get rid of, right, yeah. I see. So that's a, that's a big asset. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, Eric. It's brilliant. I know you've got to rush off and do other things, and so have I. So we, we, better, we better get out of here. But thanks so much for your time today. Thank My you. pleasure. So, Jerome, I know that uh, having an app that connects to an electric car is really useful. I know from experience, I do use my apps a lot, you know, preheating the car, all the charging, all that stuff. But this, the new Zoe app's got another, another level of use. Yeah, I mean, you can do, of course, um, you can manage the charge of your car. You can preheat uh, pre your car. Uh, remotely. Uh, you can also now, and this is the new feature, you can um, just check around you where are the charging spots. Right. Okay. This is all the wow. charging spots look at that. close to the, yeah. the, the salon. And now what is new also, it's, let's imagine that we are going together in Lille, in the north of right. France. I click here, I type the destination, and I have a, an electric route planner that will tell me what is the best itinerary, the best journey to go right. there. So I will say we are two people. Uh, we have only one baggage. The, the battery is fully charged. Right. I click on validate and now... It's working out. The, oh, look at that. Here we are. Wow. So I know that if I want to go outside Paris to Lille, I will have one spot uh, in the that journey. You need to charge. Right. And I have the name of the spot. I know where my, st my battery will stand in terms right. of charge, how long I will charge the battery, okay? Wow. And, and what, then, what the state is when you leave and you know you can right, reach your destination. Right, right. Wow. And now uh, if I want to go there and uh, leave with my uh, app, I can go and send the, uh, itinerary, the journey to the Google map. Right. And the Google map will know uh, exactly where I should stop at the charging spot right. and then go back. Because I do exactly that 
but on my own, where I search the charging map and find where the charges yeah, are and work it out. Yeah, you will do it for you. Yes, you do it <laughs> for me. This is the good news for this you. This is so much easier, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. fantastic. And then, but, though, but also, the local charge points, that is so useful when you arrive, right. particularly if it's somewhere you don't know. Yeah. And you can, so that's a very simple thing. You can just look at where you all can the charges around, are. Yeah. yeah, which is really easy. Uh, Does so it tell you if they're in use or? So you have uh, three states. Right. Uh, the, the charge spot is open. Yeah. The charge spot is open and you can reserve it. Right. The charge spot is blocked. Right. Okay. All right. Which is really useful. So you stuff. have three colors. Yeah, yeah. It's really easy, yeah. and you have all the details on the charge spot. Very, very slick. Because occasionally you will see an app or stuff that look, looks great, but actually doesn't do much. That I can see is genuinely useful. You'd use it regularly. Yeah, and yeah. we did a lot of studies around our customers. Right. Uh, we did a. Uh, ethnographic study, so we stand behind our customers for a day, right? And, and we see what we, they do, yeah, yeah, right. exactly. Right. And this is where we say, okay, we have to create this um, feature yeah. for them yeah. because it's a real pain for them. Yes, and that removes it. That's fantastic. Thank okay. you very much, Sean. Thank That's you very really much. Very good. Very good. You're right.